Now, if the kingdom of heaven is for everybody, why is there a gate around? Okay. Keep going. It says it had a great, had, had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates. Twelve. We, how many gates? And had twelve gates. Everybody. And everybody gates. I guess there's another gate for the Edomites to come. In. <laughs> nah. Nah. Go ahead. It says, and at the gates, twelve angels, mm -hmm. and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. So only, so it's a gate for each of the twelve tribes. Because what? It's entrance to the, it's entrance to the kingdom of heaven. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Salvation. Salvation. Salvation, Salvation is. Hey, somebody get uh, John four and twenty. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for yeah, yeah. Come on, let's start. Revelation chapter 7 verse 4 And I heard the number of them Which were sealed And they were sealed in hundred and forty And four thousand Of all the tribes of the children of Israel And, and, that's, and that's these twelve tribes of Israel And when you keep reading that In uh, Revelation 7 It goes to name each tribe And twelve thousand 12, sealed from that tribe Twelve thousand sealed from tribe of Judah Twelve thousand from Benjamin Twelve thousand from Levi Not twelve thousand from Edom not 12,000 from Moab, not 12,000 from any other, other nation. So, so in, in Revelation 7, verse 9, what are you talking about? The, you're talking about the peaceful multitude. What do you mean? What? You're talking about the peaceful multitude. After yeah, this, yeah. I beheld the Lord great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. All right, so it says of all nations. All right, so we, we'll break it down for you. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the honesty of the apostles and others of Grace Millstone, Shalom to the elect. I want to say, uh, Waha Kwadash Waka, Barakatham, you know, to, to your elect, man. All right? And this video is inspired by this, uh, this theologian, this theological Christian. All right? This says, theological Christian asshole don't know, the, don't got the answers, man. You know, and you have this guy who... Who went to theology school, which that word theology is the study of gods. All right, going back to the word theos. All right. And, you know, his understanding that he thinks he has is confounded by the real men of the Lord. And um, he brought out a point of how, well, he was thinking, he was saying how, and I believe he was saying in Revelations, how it says how, you know, the, the men that were saved and that were going to be saved were of, of many nations and multitudes. All right, so that led me to uh, do this lesson of about how Israel is going to be reconciled back to the Lord. All right, through Yahweh Shai, because when you go into Revelation seven, actually it says, Revelation seven, it says, and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 from all the tribes of the children of Israel. So that's a cut, another cut right there, man. All right, and then it goes on how in each tribe there'll be twelve thousand in each tribe. All right, so and and Yahweh Shai is going to through Yahweh sending his son down. Yahweh Shai, all right, is a savior to the elect. All right, and then after the elect, is saved, Israel will be saved after them, man. All right, so let's get into a few precepts about the reconciliation of the saints of Israel, because Israel are the saints. My first precept I want to grab is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. And it reads, And all things are of God, who have reconciled us to himself by Yahweh Shai, and have given us to the ministry of the reconciliation. And when you look up that word, let's just look it up. Reconciliation. Let's get that actually. That word reconciliation it says, uh, I'm just let Esau.
Strong's G2643, Catalague. Catalague. All right, and I'm going to read the second uh, definition. It says, adjustment of a difference, reconciliation, restoration to favor. In the New Testament, of the restoration of the favor of God to sinners that repent and put their trust in the, means to bring back the so-called uh, Gentiles back into the fold. All right, that word re means back and consult to, uh, to bring, so to bring back, man. All right, and that's why it says uh, restoration, man. It says restoration to favor. All right, now, now I want to go to um other precepts. Let me see if it's more on that. It says to wit, to wit that God was in the anointed, reconciling the world unto himself. All right, because you know them Christians, and that's another point he brought out of how the world, speaking about the world. But we know the world could be speaking of the whole world, oikomene. It could be speaking of a rulership. Um, I believe, uh, uh, I forgot how you said it in, in a Greek. Or it could be speaking of an actual world, man. A separate society, which is cosmos, man. It says to wit that God was in Yahweh Shai, reconciling the world unto him. Not imputing their trespasses unto them. And have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. All right, so going to show you how that um the reconciliation is the bringing back of the Israelite foreigners, man. All right, because that word world. All right, that word world is um is uh Israel, man, and we know that because like the older brother Yashawamba said, when that guy I believe his name uh K Dog, he asked of how do we know. When it's speaking about Gentiles, it was talking about an Israelite foreigner, was it talking about an actual uh, uh, um, a, a Gentile? Well, we know through salvation, all right. And here we see here how that word world, all right, is pertaining to salvation. That's why it says to wit that God was in him and Yahweh Shah reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. All right, and that's talking about the elect, man. That's why the scriptures say, "Blessed is he whose uh, uh, sins have not, who the Most High have not imputed iniquity." Man, talking about the elect. All right, and the scriptures in Revelation says, "These are they." All right, these are the virgins, man. Talking about the virgins, man, not actual virgin. All right, but those who who basically stay clear of the philosophies of this world. All right, now I want to get Hebrews. Chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, For it became him. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna start at 15. It's lucky. It says, and delivered them who through fear of death were of all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not of him the nature of angels, but he took of him the seed of Abraham, talking about it, um, um Yahweh. You can read that in Matthew's the first chapter. Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he may be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God. To make reconciliation, there goes that word, reconciliation, for the sins of his people. Alright, and we understand not only Israel can sin. Alright, because the sin is what? A transgression of the law, which the laws was only given to Israel. Okay, it says, for in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor or help them that are tempted. All right, Yahweh is helping us day in and day out, man, through the Holy Spirit, man. All right, ultimately, through his blood, all right, are, are we uh, uh, justified? Okay, get another precept. This is Romans, Let's see, Romans 5. And 10. It says, For if we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, Yahweh Shai. So that God is talking about Yahweh, and we were reconciled to Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. It says, Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. By his life. It says, And not only so, 
but we also joy in God through our Lord Yahweh Shai, by whom we have now received the atonement. The atonement of what? The atonement of our sins. All right, because prior to Yahweh Shai, all right, Israel was believing that, you know, they could sacrifice birds and doves and so on and so forth to make an atonement for their sins. But this is what it says in Hebrews 10 and 9 says, uh, then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, the first covenant, that he may establish the second. All right, because the first covenant was the law of Moses, man. And the law of Moses was it said that, you know, basically how how uh, the Levite priests they would do sacrifices of of a uh, uh, clean lawful birds, which goes to show you too, of how um. What goes to show you too, like when you read the scriptures, they didn't just sacrifice they didn't sacrifice a pig. Alright, they'll sacrifice a clean bird, man. What's going to show you that all animals are not clean. Because that's what Christians believe as well. Alright, so it says, He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Alright? And that leads me to this point, man. Romans 9 and 4. It says, Who's our Israelites? Because Paul was speaking to Israelites, man. When he went to Rome and he went to Corinthians, he was speaking to who? Israelites, man. All right. It says, "For I could wish that myself were a curse from the anointed Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory, and the covenants, to both the Old and the New Testament, man, both covenants, man, and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises, man. All right. And in, the, in that video, the brothers went into the new, the old covenant and the new covenant, man." All right, what consists of the reconciliation, man. All right, and then when Yahweh Shah comes back, the elect is going to have the laws written in their inward parts so that we may no longer go off. All right, but back in that Hebrews 10 and 9, it says, He taketh away the first that he may establish the second, the second covenant, man. The law of faith, man. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Yahweh Shah once for all. All right, so that's that atonement, man. The offering of the body of Yahweh Shai. And every priest standeth daily, ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered once for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai, all right, is, is, um, you know, put up his body for Israel, man, for the sins of Israel. That is Matthews 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from all their sins. You know? So Yahweh Shai, all right, is coming back for Israel, man. And the Old and the New Testament is talking about Israel. All right. Because even when you go, I'm going to get this priest up. Because even when you go into the um the scriptures, it says this, man. It says, um, let me see. I just bookmarked it, but I can't remember where, where it was. I think it's three, or is it two and 24? I can't remember. It's lock, y'all can. All right, 3 and 34, Salakia. It says, Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world, and so shall thy name be, so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. All right, and there you go, man. That's a clean cut, man. The, low, the most high's name is going to be found but nothing, by no one but in Israel, man. Then you get John 4 and 22. You worship, you know, not what you worship for salvation is of the Jews. And so on and so forth, man. So that reconciliation, all right, through Yahweh Shai, all right, from the sins of Israel, all right, is to Israel, man. That reconciliation, that bringing back unto the fold, man. That's why the scriptures said that ye were, ye were Gentiles, 
are carried away into these dumb idols, man. All right. So then now, all right, then Yahweh Shah woke up Paul, all right, to be, um, Yahweh Shah woke up Paul to bring the uh, so called Gentiles, man. What's the Gentiles, all right, were the Hellenized Jews, man. And you uh, go into the history about uh, Antiochia Epiphanes and, and uh, the Edomites, named themselves as Greeks, all right, Hellenized our people, all right, in the book of Maccabees, man. He Hellenized our people from, uh, uh, you know, from serving the Heavenly Father, man. All right. Let me get one more precept to end it off, man. This is uh, Hosea chapter 1 and verse 10. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sands of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. So with that, you know, I want to say uh, all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimmy, how shy, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone. And uh, Wahakwadash, Baraka Thumb to the elect. Shalom.